Hello friends. Today I have a very cute story. It's a new book. You're the first one to hear this story. It's called The Best Kind of Bear. This is by Greg Gorm Gormley and illustrated by David Barrow. I have not had this author before. So, he's new to me, too. Bear was a bear, a very sweet little bear, but he didn't know what kind of bear he was. One day, he met a girl named Nellie. Hello, she said. What kind of bear are you? That's what I'm trying to figure out, said Bear. Maybe there's a bear out there who can help me. Will you come back and tell me? Asked Nellie. Yes, said Bear. And off he went. First, Bear traveled west. Deep in the forest, he met a big brown bear. What kind of bear are you? asked Bear. I'm a grizzly bear, said the big brown bear. I love nice, long naps. Me too, said Bear. I love napping. So does Miss Dillon. Maybe I'm, oops, yep. maybe I'm a grizzly bear, said Bear. Grizzly Bear stretched and yawned. Wake me up in six months, he said. That's too much sleep, said Bear. I can't possibly be a grizzly bear. Maybe not, said Grizzly Bear. Besides, Grizzly Bears don't have those funny little stitches on their tummy. If you look really close, you can probably see the stitches on the belly of the bear. Next, Bear traveled to the frozen north. There he found even an even bigger bear. It was completely white. What kind of bear are you? asked Bear. I'm a polar bear, said the big white bear. I like to play in the snow. Me too, said Bear. I love playing. The two bears went snow sliding. This is fun, said Bear. Maybe I'm a polar bear. But Bear was starting to feel chilly. Shall we go inside and get nice and warm? He asked. I never go inside, said the polar bear. Brr, said Bear. I don't like to be cold. I can't possibly be a polar bear. Maybe not, said Polar Bear. Besides, polar bears don't have washing labels attached to their bottoms. Do you see his little label on his bottom? This time, Bear went south. He met a bear with long claws. What kind of bear are you? asked Bear. 
I'm a spectacled bear, said the bear with long claws. I love to climb. Me too, said bear. I love climbing into bed. Maybe I'm a spectacled bear. Come up then, said the bear from a very tall tree. Okay, said bear, following carefully. The view is so pretty, said Bear, but then he looked down. I feel a little dizzy, said Bear. Then, ah, he fell off the branch. Biff, bonk, bump. Ow, said Bear. I do not like climbing. I can't possibly be a spectacled bear. Maybe not, said Spectacled Bear. Besides, Spectacled Bears are not as soft and bouncy as you. Finally, Bear traveled east to another forest where he met a black bear. What kind of bear are you? asked Bear. I'm a sun bear, said the black bear. I love honey, honey, honey. Me too, said Bear. I love eating honey. I must be a sun bear. But where do you get honey? From a beehive, said Sun Bear. Get ready to... Run! The two bears ran over logs and under bushes until... Do you see why they're running? Splash! They jumped into a river. Dear me, spluttered Bear. I don't like bees, and I don't like getting wet. So I'm definitely not a sun bear. Maybe not, said Sun Bear. Besides, sun bears never wear bow ties. Bear was fed up. That means... He had had enough. He decided it was time to go home. Nellie was there waiting for him. What did you find out? She asked. Well, said Bear, I love naps, but not ones that are too long. I love playing, but only when it's warm. I love climbing into bed, but I do not like climbing trees. And although I love honey, I do not like getting wet. And I definitely do not like bees. But... I still don't know what kind of bear I am. I suppose that I'm just an ordinary and uninteresting bear. You're a wonderful kind of bear who has funny stitches on his tummy and a washing label on his bottom, who is soft and bouncy and who wears a very nice bow tie, said Nellie. I am, asked the bear. Yes, said Nellie. 
You're my kind of bear, and you can be my bear if you'd like to. I think I would, said Bear. And so Nellie wrote on Bear's label, Nellie's Bear. Aww. That's the that's what kind of bear I am, said Bear. I'm your bear, and that's the best kind of bear to be. And that is the end of the story. So I wonder if you have a teddy bear. Do you have a bear that's special to you? You know, I love Pooh Bear, and I have lots and lots of them in my classroom. But I have a special bear at home that I got from my parents when I graduated from high school. That was a long time ago. And I am not at home right now, so I can't show you to show him to you. But I will try to remember to take a picture of him and I will post it so you can see what my bear looks like. And my bear is called Cuddles. So I would like you to do the same thing. Can you have your parents take a picture of you and your favorite bear? And you can send it to me on Google Classroom. And I can't wait to see all the special bears that we have in our class. So I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.